In today's video, I'm doing a modified Dutch pour and I'm going to be adding some embellishments at the end. I had a lot of leftover paint from my previous water droplet pour and so I'm going to use that paint and create a um, Dutch pour in the shape of a dress and then embellishment with it with a dancing woman. I've seen other people do this and it turns out really nice and the Dutch pour just gives the um, appearance of the dress to be a really flowy, airy style and then adding the embellishment on top looks really nice. So to start out, I'm just adding my white base paint and then laying down a little bit of each of my colors. I don't want to overdo it. Um, I tend to find that if you have too much paint on your canvas, it can definitely move a lot while it's drying. And since I'm aiming for a very specific shape, I want to make sure that it won't move at all. Each of my colors is mixed with Floetrol and water until it is the consistency that I want for pouring. I'm using small amounts of each color of paint and I'm just alternating where I'm putting each color down in sort of a an upside down V shape so that when I blow it I have um, a shape of a dress, hopefully. <laughs> I'm using one of my smaller hair dryers with a really small concentrator on it and I just actually turned it on its side so that I had control of the flow of air in an up and down motion. And as you can see I'm just gently using my hair dryer to blow out uh, my paint and I got a really nice shape with it. I really like this hair dryer. The airflow isn't too strong, and so things, my colors don't all mix together and get too muddy, and I have a lot of control on where the paint is moving. I wanted a little bit more of that magenta in there, so I just added a small amount in a few spots and then just blew it back out. And then to make things a little bit easier for the control of my paint, since I'm using such a small amount there, I actually just grabbed a straw and then just started blowing around the canvas that way. Once it was dry, I did a quick sketch to sketch out the area that I wanted to paint for adding my uh, figure on top. I'm just using black fluid acrylic paint along with a really small detail brush and just adding my woman. I felt that the dress was so long that I was worried about adding feet at the bottom and having it looking disproportionate, so I'm just imagining her feet are covered by the dress. <laughs> And if you have any pencil marks, you can just take some white paint and fill in after. Um, some of my black areas that I filled in, you could still see some of the pencil lines. So I just used a little bit of white paint to um, touch those up so that you can't see them once it was all complete. And for me, using a much smaller brush was very helpful. I think if I had used a larger brush, it would have been difficult to fix mistakes that I had made. With the small detail brush, you have quite a bit more control over where you're putting your paint down and how much paint you're putting down. And if this is too difficult, you could always take a um, stencil or I've seen some people use a Cricut machine to cut out a sticker and put that on your painting instead if you don't feel that you can add an embellishment like this. 
I think using a stencil would be really pretty on something like this too. And depending on what you could find online, you could always print out a silhouette shape that you wanna use and just trace that onto your painting. This is the first time I'm trying one of these embellishments and it was definitely a challenge for me. I don't really paint people, so my proportions were a little off, but it was a learning experience and something that I can definitely practice. <laughs> 